Hey, it's a Tyler Survivalpedia. So you guys know that I flew to Texas, bought an LMTV in Texas, sight unseen, and drove it back. It's kind of stupid. Lots of fun. So now I'm here at Vorshire with Steve. Is that your name? Are yep. you sure? Sure. Sure. Last time I checked. I was a little nervous. I got to mess with him. So <laughs> I'm here at Vorshire, and we are going to fabricate a butt. We're going to put a butt on the LMTV. Well, let's and take then a have look. jokes about not touching the butt. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> stick with me. My parking brake? I got the plug. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. Yeah, I should I should probably get that fixed. What Ta I'm here for. Takes all the fun out of things. <laughs> Alright, boss man. He's like, hey. Let's do it. Alright, let's <laughs> Okay, so the goal with this thing, uh, I gotta put my whole family in it, right? So I gotta be able to build the ultimate bug out vehicle. Why, why don't you give me that? <laughs> you wanna start video. over back here? No, you're good, you're good. So, I'm gonna build the, well, we, all of us, a whole bunch of people are gonna help me build the ultimate bug out vehicle. So the reason I got this vehicle is because it's a Stewart and Stevenson 1998 A0. What that means is there's no computers in the engine. You know why that's good? No EMP. No, e smart man, right there. So there's no EMP. And what that means is, if an electromagnetic pulse goes off, it can't ruin a computer that's not there to be ruined. There's some stuff it'll probably mess with, like your, your tire inflation system, but that doesn't matter, right? Either put a new one in or just manually inflate it, right? right. Or if they're already inflated, it's not like it's gonna deflate it, you just unplug the system. The point is, if something legitimately really bad happens, I can hop in this thing, do 400 miles on a tank, or I can put an extended tank on it, do 800 miles, and I'm out of the area. But in the meantime, it would be really nice to have a really cool backcountry vehicle, right? So I got the other criteria for this ultimate vehicle build is I gotta be able to use it right now, right? I see all these people, they build this awesome, cool, hardcore bug out stuff. They can't use it or they don't use it. And I think that's crazy. So I think if you're gonna make something cool like this, make it something that you can use right now, take camping right now. So. I gotta have a butt on this vehicle. So let me, let me define what a butt is, I guess. Right now, I've got these huge, massive, heavy doors, and there's a ladder here. And it's not as heavy as it looks, but it's still beefy. My wife and kids are not going to be setting that up, right? So, the idea is to get rid of these doors, build like a 45 degree angle box, so there can be a bed right there. So I, I, I kind of like these steps. It'd be cool to keep them or replace them with something. I don't think it should be too ridiculous to stick him right here, but I'm wondering if, yeah, I guess we'd have to put the bed here because that wouldn't be wide enough. So yeah, so if we take this out, even if we just pulled the doors off and removed the hinges and then brought the wall of the metal right here, mm -hmm. we just remove these, these stair pieces and stick them somewhere else. So you and then this could stay here and then I could just throw a curtain or something on it. I don't know. I'm open to suggestions on this. So, but my suggestion is, uh, what if we cut the whole back end out so that this this like chop add this on, way? yeah, just naturally transitions right inside. You, you can't tell where the old body stops and the new I'm one totally begins. cool with that. But we've got to figure out the steps if you want to keep them. 
I need a way to get on top of it, whether it's it. from the back or side. I mean, these are kind of cool, and I think it would be too hard to just stick them right here. So we could move these steps around the vehicle anywhere, or we could build a custom aluminum roof ladder. Would that stick out a bunch? It, no, wouldn't have to stick out much, just enough to get your toes on it. Mm -hmm. Wash behind it maybe if you're worried. So you want to crawl in here and talk about some of that stuff? You betcha. This whole thing has been a big experiment for me. I got to figure out what I've already got, what needs to be pulled off, what needs to go where, and I've I have a loose idea of what I want to do with the box and it's kind of based on how do I put all of the long-term living stuff for five people or six people-ish in this van, right? Um, I like the fact that there's a bed on an actual camper and I was thinking about doing some kind of a bed here, um, but I don't know if that's a possibility because I have to decide if I have a, a tire that tilts out, then I can't stick a bed here because we can't really make it any lower than it already is or it'll engage with it. If we move the tire to the back, now we can cut a hole right here, go straight in the cab so you can crawl into the thing. That's a good safety thing because if you're, I don't know, camping downtown LA or someplace that's a little shady when it comes to crime or up in the mountains, you got a bear trying to get in your thing, you can just crawl right in the cab and drive away, right? But that becomes a lot more fabricating mess or whatever. So, Normally there's a heater that goes right here. This box, some cool ideas I've seen, has they turned it into a basket so they can put stuff on the top of it. That's cool. This could just be a storage space as it is, or we could just cut this whole thing out and there's a, a shelf or a bed or something. Um, what normally goes right here is an air conditioning unit. One good suggestion I have is that's a great place to put all your batteries. And I've got a company called BioEno that I'm going to go get my batteries and solar panels from unless that changes we'll see but that'd be a good spot for that and then this thing right here there's a big box right here that's the same size as that box and the only thing that's in it is a 110 fan now I'm probably just going to replace the fan with a 12 or 24 volt and I don't care if it's here it can go here because then I can vacuum heat and uh, water from a shower out of it and then maybe stick something in so I can push with one and pull with the other. But I'm completely up to suggestions on this. Either I turn it into storage or shelves or a bed, or I make it uh, refabricate this into a door of some sort, put my batteries right there. I don't know. I would say, let's cut this out and make a bunk out here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna try to get as many as six people in here. Sleeping space is gonna be critical. And that would be phenomenal. Yep. And it could double as storage when you're going down the road. Yep. We can put a bunk in here. As far as the fan goes, we could actually put a vent fan in the roof that's a dual direction. So you can either blow in or blow out. What if I put it above the shower? And then I can place. open it, then there's not two of them. Yep. So a place for it and, and yeah, you have multiple uses. So I, I would say we cut this out and put a bed in here. Yeah, that makes total sense. Especially yep. if we decide to remove the tire and stick it on the back. Yep. Then that opens up a bunch of space. There's a different type of intake that I can add right here. I, when I drove back from Texas, this is what I slept in. I just threw the hammock up and bailed it. So, um, so if there's a crawl through vent, move the tire, bed, that would work. And then the reality is there's a lot of storage space on top of this thing too, as long as it doesn't get too tall. Now I want to cover this whole roof in as much solar panel as will fit. So any storage space really is probably going to be on the cab. Okay. So I like the idea of a, of a cab box of some sort that we can crawl up to. And there probably has to be like a walkway in the middle so that I can access and repair solar panels. That's kind of the nut I'm gonna crack later when it comes to, I think I have to get this built and then I have to get it painted. And then I'll install the solar last cause it's gonna go over the paint or whatever I put up on the roof. Are you thinking like a gear basket on top of this or an actual storage box? Uh, gear basket's fine. I'll just lift a heavy box up there and you know, the stick it. cases or yeah, something? Yeah, okay. just cause I don't want to get carried away, but there are a lot of spare parts I want to add to this, just because it's not like you can go to AutoZone and get most of the components for this. So there's a few things I want to have on hand, and tools would be nice. Um, other than that, like I think if this is a bed that can hold sleeping bags and stuff, and if we build that, I'm keeping, I'm gonna call it the butt. It's the butt. <laughs> if we build the butt on the LTV, 
which is basically like a queen bed or something roughly that size, that 45 degree angle, as long as we cover up the components of any crane or anything, assuming we need to, and just put doors in there and throw sleeping bags in it, have it be storage. My only other concern is just insulating it, throwing a couple windows on it. So if I get in a car accident, kids can get out, right? Because these, I love these things. The blackout, if you go, we stayed the night at a bunch of truck stops and I can completely lock this out and then get all the sleep I need. I need to, need to fix it up a little bit, but they're already functional. And RV windows for stuff like this are thousands of dollars. They're so expensive. So any way that I can use what's already here is gonna just save a bunch of money on the other cost. Have you given, uh, I'm sure you've given some thought to onboard water storage. Yes, yeah, so here's the loose structure, structure I'm thinking about in this. If I do uh, a bed, it's like a happy jack bed, doesn't have to be happy jack, but a bed that can lift itself here, okay. and then just make a U-shaped sitting spot with a table that can drop down, there would be a bed here and a bed here, right? And then underneath those seats, I could put 125 gallons. I could put diesel heaters. I could put whatever under those seats. Okay. So then I have quick access to them. Um, and underneath the box right here is about a, I don't know, it's about that thick and about that wide of just dead space. And I've seen people put entire, like 200 plus gallons of whatever gray water or black water or clean water they want right there. There's also a tube that you can add to the side that'll hold 100 something gallons on either side. So there's there's dead spaces that I've found from you know going down the YouTube rabbit hole that I can put those liquids in those places. Or I would suggest liquids underneath the bench, especially the water. Yeah. For freezing, yep. you can keep the cab warm even off the heater of the truck. You can keep it warm enough to keep it from freezing. And I like that idea. We could actually do hatches in the floor and get your storage in there. Oh, that's not a bad idea. At all. That. Give you a, maybe a gray and black tank. That's why I storage. asked the big brains. Yeah. It's good ideas. Yeah, and that's a great place to store, gosh, guns, ammo, food, extra yeah. food. Food's always an important one, especially if you're going to be hitting the road. So basically, just cut this thing, put another floor in there, and I'll show you when we get under there, and then just make it a hatch. Like, that's a really good idea. So well, I've got a lot of ideas. I just don't know where to start. No, let's you talk, let, Let's talk shower for a minute. Okay. So when it comes to shower, if this is my door, and I'm walking in, like that's an excellent spot for a shower because I like it in the corner. Yep. And then maybe like a, like this whole thing could be shower toilet, or it, it could be toilet here and shower here, which uses the window, or it could be full of shower here, and then we just put like a skylight or something on, and then you just get light from the thing, and that way, because when you're when you're doing a shower, you're adding that pan and it lifts you up, right? So I'm thinking if I add a skylight of some sort or a, a picked up fan whatever right here then i can actually shower without you know wearing a curtain sticky to me because that's gross right the other thing is if i have that fan in this corner or that light in this corner it can be the top fan vacuum and then i can have a lower one that pushes air in from over there or something so if i go door shower toilet storage seats cooking area what else would it be missing well, you've got it all covered. I'll make a suggestion. I like open, more open space. Me too. So if we put a shower here, we're going to kind of create a wall mm -hmm. um, for this sleeping area. We could do a curtain to get a little bit of privacy back in there. We could maybe go a little bit longer with the shower and actually do a cassette toilet okay. inside the shower. Can you? Which is nice because it makes it easy to clean and maintain. And now we're not having to build a separate wall for a shower, build another wall for a toilet. And yeah, the you got one little enclosed room for your shower your toilet it's got one door we're mm -hmm. maximizing space we could potentially even add a little bit of countertop here for food prep area mm -hmm. um, can a cassette toilet have the cassette be pulled outside absolutely okay because that's yep, yep. We'll cut, <laughs> yeah we'll cut a hole they actually they make it so the whole thing would install right in here wall to wall in the shower mm -hmm. the cassette is accessible from outside the vehicle that's perfect um so all you see inside you'll see like it'll look like a bench with a toilet that comes out of it. Okay. Give you just enough room to stand here, do your business, whatever. And like I said, we're maximizing space. We got a wall, wall. We've got a little bit of room here between uh, the, the shower and the toilet to the uh, sitting area. And then it leaves us some room over here to do a sink, a cooktop. That's perfect. And there's still like 
space that you can walk past another human around here without like being bumped into. You know, we could do this physically nicely. We could do a nice RV fridge right here. That might work too. I didn't even think about the fridge. Yeah, we do that a nice RV fridge here. and maybe even give you just a little bit of a countertop here for when you get stuff yeah. out of the fridge. And then once again, we can get a little bit of a countertop over here next to the door. Probably do just a single bowl sink and a two burner cooktop. So you want a little counter space. Mm -hmm. And then we could even uh, that can we start like, like wherever the door stops right here. Yep. And we need to make a fold up counter right here. It comes over the seating area. Just yeah, that's a good idea. Because then you can sit at that seating space and have turn to your left and have something to yep. or even something to swing around. Because I mean, this is for survivability. But there's yeah. no reason we can't make it comfortable. Yeah. 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 I have an that's of that thing. movie True Lies when the terrorist is filming the video at the end and the battery dies. Yeah. You ever see that movie? Uh, I've seen it. I can't remember this. The scene. Yeah, yeah, he's giving his whole speech on how America's bad. And they're gonna set the nuclear bomb off, and the little he running the camera yeah, battery go, dies, <laughs> and he doesn't want to say anything. He's afraid. <laughs> yeah, that sounds. We're gonna familiar. walk out. Mark's gonna go. Um, <coughs> I think it quit recording. So when we it hasn't went. been recording for 45 <laughs> minutes. Can we do it again? So, I think these just look cool. They don't have to keep them, but the whole military look to them. It's kind of killer and it's a little bit trippy to find this thing, right? And there's actually one on the roof. I don't know why we couldn't just move them around here. That's what I was thinking. I mean, just slide them to the side, you know? Yeah, they're just bolted on. And then I can like, dun 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 dun. All right, nothing else to this. I'd like to see a backflip coming down. I like I'm rock climbing or ice climbing. I can do backflip, I'll just break my spine. Okay, what are we saying? Uh, so, we're going to angle off back here. Uh -huh. um, in theory, we could fit a belly box right here. Just yeah, small so, or even small gear. Maybe you got a couple jerry cans and they're extra diesel. Fuel. Yeah, diesel cans are a great idea. Yeah, whatever. Um, and these, they always mess this up with this exhaust. That could actually be rotated down. And we could even fit a box in right here. That, Some you know, of the they, things that I've seen, and I there's uh, a sideways propane can. Mm -hmm. They put like a hundred gallons of propane right here, yep. which would be an idea. I could maybe stick a generator right there. There's an upgraded version of this air filter that I can swap out to. And then the one, uh, I'm not exactly sure where they put it, but they stick a long tube up in here for uh, water holding. The big water holding space is like, if I can get under here. Like right here, there's that much space up inside of there, and you can stick like a, a, a water tank here or a water tank there. The only thing they've got is that one, that one uh, thing in the middle. But if we just put a flat plate right there, that'd hold, I don't know, 100 gallons right there, however many gallons right there. I'd maybe I'd, I'd almost make the entire bench at the front water. We could probably get 200 gallons under the bench. Yeah, I'm just thinking gray water. I'm thinking yeah, we could. Or even do, storage or. I would I would do. Uh, well, you get any black water if you have a toilet. Yeah. But I do the gray water. What have a toilet? It's a cassette toilet. Oh, that's right, cassette. Yeah. Um, I hate black water tanks personally. Yeah. But we could do a gray water back there underneath the shower. Yeah, and I like the idea of be, like a button to spray it. Because yep. if it's if there's nothing in it but water, or there's nothing biologically bad, you can just hit that button and just pee it while you're driving down the road. Exactly. Um, we could still do some storage in here. You could even have an exit hatch right there. So yeah. you have a storage box, and then in the bottom of that box, that'd be even, awesome. There's, <laughs> even a, there's even a hatch that'll open if you, you need to drop out right the out bottom. Right? Yeah. From some My kids reason, would if be you got no egress through the door, yeah. Um, you can come out the bottom if you need. Get lots of room for boxes on this side as well for storage. Yeah, so I got a question over there. Let's look at that real quick. I'll crack my head on it again. One of the coolest things I've always thought about a vehicle is the ability to leave. Because when it when a disaster happens, it's usually geographical, right? It's like I got an earthquake here, a flood here, a bomb here, whatever here. If I could just be 300 miles away, it would be out of the problem, right? So this is about 50 gallons. I can do about 400 miles on that. If I put a 100 gallon tank just like this, it's going to be about that size, but now I can do 800 to 1,000 miles on that tank. Now, some people will take, there, there's a winch that gets added to this, and the cable goes right up this hole. So some people will take this 
tank and just expand it out and they're adding 20 gallons yeah. or even just expand it to here and you're making a substantially larger I mean if I if I put 30 more gallons on it you know it's 30 gallons that I don't have to carry an extra totes and stuff and still have enough space for a generator or a box or something right here so I'm kind of kicking the idea how can I expand the gas tank range without using up this one super valuable chunk of space that could be a generator or a box or something. So if you utilize this space a little bit more. Even um, pulling in that back, yeah. Yeah, because th this can actually be welded right here and we can just 45 it where it just comes off and you'll be able to top it right off and make sure it doesn't leak though. That'd probably throw in another. Um, all these can be moved right in line, utilize this space here. Yeah. We could go as far back as we can, maybe add six or eight inches here. Again, uh, I'm going to measure this real quick. And then here in the next few days, I'll get some CAD work done for some designs. Legit. And then, then we'll get together and look at what I've come up with. And you can tell me if it's just horrible and sucks and you don't want it. Or... As long as we can call it the butt. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll redo it. <laughs> it's true. We're just, we're, we're popping out ideas. Tell me down in the comment section what you think we should do, how you think we should build it, and what we should make. All we right. got a full fabrication shop here, so the sky's He's afraid to shake hands now. Ah, oh, can't even get away from it. <laughs> you're good, you're good. All right. No, here's how this works. I go like that. <laughs> I went to it. I just didn't bring my hand in close enough. All right, we need to like, redo no. that because this is a thing. <laughs> okay. All right. So go back to your well, comments or whatever. He needs to close up and say, this is Steve, and then I'll do my, yeah. and then mm -hmm. he just turns back. Just, okay, so. All right, guys, so let us know what you think we should do on this build, how you think we should make it, what we should add to it, and leave that in the comments, and then stick with us and see what happens. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I could keep the same face. <laughs>